Just because a Pokemon is UU doesn't mean it's bad in the OU tier. Especially in Generation 9 where Pokemon like Garchomp, Heatran, and Garganicle have fallen down to UU. And Iron Moth is the perfect example of a UU Pokemon that's currently making waves in OU once again. Because a combination of booster energy boosting its speed and Fire Dance boosting its special attack makes it a very strong offensive threat. And Terra Blast Ground is becoming more popular to deal with Heatran, Raging Bolt, and Gouging Fire. So let's see how this current UU Pokemon does in the OU tier. Today we'll be continuing our suspect test run for gouging fire whether it should be banned or not got this team from dunder guy it has so many grassy seeds on it so it looks like a lot of fun we're fighting webs i'm gonna see if i can get the iron mon sweep from the uh the iron moth excuse me sweep from the get because their team is extremely weak to this pokemon they might even have to terrestrialize this just to not lose to this immediately and i can still win the game with gouging fire as well as Landorus checking these mons. So I'm feeling pretty decent, I would say. Even my Grassy Seed Golden Go with Terra Fairy goes absolutely stupid in this game. If you do enjoy the content, make sure you let me know by leaving a like and consider subscribing. I am on my way to half a million subscribers by the end of the year. And if y'all wanna be part of it, feel free to join. Gouging Fire comes out and this, my friends, is where we terrestrialize and pick up the KO. That's speed boosting, yup. Giant Threat gone. They still cannot KO this Pokemon. And I can sub once on this uh, Stun Spore. They want to go for that. They do Moonblast. That's fine too. Honestly, I'm okay with that. Because they won't be able to get up webs into my team. And this is not going to KO me anyway. So, yeah. We can just go for another Fiery Dance. Well, we got a nice little 3 for 1 deal right here. As Val has to come out. And I don't have to save this. I can just go right for another Fiery Dance. Alright. In terms of how I want to win this game... Golden Go. I guess like the one way I can lose is King Gambit because it's King Gambit at the end of the day. So I think what I want to do is I want to bring you out. I want to go for Grassy Glides uh, just to hopefully to a KO Val. That actually does nothing. Very sad. Very, very sad. That's like the only nerf, right? On non-choice band variants of Rillaboom, you do absolutely no type of damage. Uh, we could follow it up with... Um, a knockoff here since I don't want to die to Destiny Mon. And I do want to go for low kick uh, versus this Mon. How many turns of grass turn? I do have enough. Hmm. Yeah, we're just low kick here. All right, the Ice Beam. No big deal. We can bring out Golden Go now. Uh, just throw off a nice little Dazzling Gleam. Tank this hit. Obviously, they're going to try and win the game with Gambit, right? That's like your go-to type of thing. But... I should be okay. I definitely should be okay. Between this, between Intimidate, just the fact that I have a Gouging Fire, I think makes a big difference in this game. And they Kalt out immediately too. So uh, we could just taunt them here. I didn't even try an SD. I guess they thought I could have had random Focus Blast, I, I suppose. But we obviously taunt here. Nice. Will you turn out on their Sucker? That's fine. Forces more, uh, more damage overall. Might as well get off another hit with my Landorus, and I can taunt again. They go for Iron Head, I won't die. Then we taunt again. Go for Sucker. Let them knock me out. And I mean, yeah. Uh, provided they don't super crit my Gouging Fire, we should win the game. I think this was the end game they should have went for anyway, but I think they should have tried and went, uh, went for an SD versus Golden Go. I would have tried to do the exact same thing, and they would have been... I guess roughly this low anyway, but they at least would have had, it would have been neutral at this point, right? Because they probably would have had a plus two and I would have to reverse. I, I think Gouging Fire would have ate anyway, but let's pause it and we'll get another game as we continue our suspect test risks. Well, this is, uh, <laughs> this is not what I expected to pull up on, on the ladder. Gouging Fire still looks pretty good here, but the Iron Moth once again, just looks incredible in these types of games. Uh, how do I want to start this off? I do really like Rillaboom, but like Rillaboom is actually not even that great. I'm gonna start with Rillaboom though, just because it kind of forces this to run specific things. I guess the wheezing is going to, I'm going hard into uh, Landers. I don't care if I get burnt. I don't care about T-Spike either. I want rocks up so that way my Iron Moth smacks them. Uh, yeah, we'll go for Stealth Rock. Strange Steam, no big deal. They were not neutralizing gas, which is I mean, that's why, gra why am I even looking? Grassy terrain is up. So I'm going to U-turn out into my Golden Go. They can't defog if they want to go for it. Golden Go doesn't win the game right there, but it does 
uh, annoy them. It does annoy them. So I just try for the Iron Moth endgame? I mean... Weakening Heatran is good too. Oh, Crocolore comes out. Good, good, good. I don't know how much you're going to take. Yo, 23. Come on, Golden Goat. You are a demon for a re... 23? <laughs> 23 is disrespectful, man. I got to switch. I don't like it in my defense boost proc, but it's fine. They end up Terra watering, which means that Rillaboom can deal with them. So I'm okay with that. I'll just blitz. All they can do is roar and yawn, which is very annoying, but this isn't draft, right? So I'm okay. I literally go back and forth. That roar is a little bit annoying though because I don't want them to get my Iron Moth in. Uh, and the reason I'm going for this is I'm trying to burn them. Get a little, uh, nice little Flare Blitz burn off. There we go. Go for Knock. Even if they burn me here, as long as they don't have an Evil Light, they're not a threat. Like legitimately, as long as they don't have that, they're not a threat. And I get burnt back. No. I mean, technically Hatterene wins, but not so easily. Hmm. I don't care if they get up rocks, I guess. Yeah, that, that sucks, because I could have low kicked after. Could be. All right, I haven't revealed that I don't have Earthquake yet, so I'm going to simply Dragon Dance here, expect them to scout for Earthquake. They did Terrasilize, so they can't get out of this situation. And then I can... <laughs> Yo, this heat turns threat. Perfect. <laughs> The Pokemon I want in, I want to burn you. Burn, Flare Blitz, burn. It's only 10%. Flare Blitz should be 30%, to be honest. Yeah, just make it super broken. It's already a good move as is. So technically, this Mon does win, or does beat them 1v1. It's actually, it does, because they can't roar me out, so I'll go for it. The defense boost would obviously be nice, but... Hmm, Terra Water... Iron defensing up doesn't do anything. I'm going to Drain and Kiss once, and then I'll go for Stored Power from there. Because I'll get a ton of recovery back, yep. Let me just Stored Power, get the kill on Garg. All right, don't got to worry about Garg now. Let's go. Uh, if Heatran wants to come out, I'll... This is not going to go the way you want it to go, buddy. This is not going to go the way you want it to go. Take them all. I, okay, I guess it's going the way they want it to go, but it's not going the way they really want it to go. I don't think there's a point in draining kissing just because they don't have high HP anyway. And I'd rather take all their uh, all their slack offs. They have one left. Two left, excuse me. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna U-turn here. You're a demon, dude. But it's the same thing anyway, right? I just bring you out and click attacks. Might as well drag it's up here too. Let him roar me out. This is not the one I wanted to come out to, unfortunately, but it's okay because I'll get decent damage off of them. All right, I get the poison. That's better than the burn. I'll keep going back to Iron Moth as well just in case they want to go Heatran. Because eventually, when they lose all their slack offs and this stupid Crocolore doesn't keep messing me up, they'll go Heatran and they will get bopped by this. Exactly. Heatran is a threat, so we're going to KO it. I think that Gouging Fire can win. Uh, Surf is annoying. You don't actually come in on anything. AV Rillaboom can still tank a hit, so I'll go AV Rillaboom. Say Luster Purge. Jeez, dude. Specs as hell. I have Spadef on this, so I'm assuming I don't get two shot. Yeah, nice. They only have six. So I'll go for a, a recover. Oh, that's not specs. It's just soul dude. Damn. Yeah, but I went for recover there because they don't have too many. So if I have to sack, I'm up in sacks and I have way more recovers than they have. I have no item. Noise. It's going to morning sun. And this isn't choice either. So that's great. Now, what are you going to do? You're just going to roar? Okay. I'll get my damage on you that you can't recover from. I might as well go for a DD because if they roar me out, to some, if they don't roar me out here, I, I'm, I'm plus one and I KO everything on the team besides Weezing, which can only toxic me, so we should win. 
And they strange steam instead of one for toxic. Huh. Actually, let me morning sun and, and stop being a little bit uh, greedy for no reason. Yeah. Because. Yeah, that was greedy on me. So I can go iron moth now. Paint split doesn't matter. I just click sludge wave. I get the chip on Latios. And then I still have you to always click. So uh, sludge wave for sure is a play. Also, if they go Latios, they're in a bad spot anyway. Sludge wave is just better than going for greedy, uh, going for greedy fiery dance. Go ahead and win the speed tie. Thank you. Don't got to deal with that threat at all. Let's go. Rillaboom, uh, you die to rocks, and then meow is boots. So who cares? Meow can't beat every member on this team. That definitely don't help it beat every member on this team either. You're not. This is not even stab. I can nasty plot. They have to switch. Exactly. I can nasty plot up. They don't KO me with knockoff and then plus two dazzling gleam KOs them. This golden go has crazy EVs, by the way. Look at it. <laughs> that golden goes wild. All right. We're going to get another game. We'll be right back. So this game looks like Gouging Fire just wins as long as their, I like the name, as long as their Clefable is not unaware. Uh, it also looks like Hatterene can win too in the same sentence. But I start with Rillaboom just because I'm extremely worried about the uh, the Dark Rye. Uh, let's just try and go for Hatterene as quickly as possible. Why the hell not? They're going to protect here anyway, right? So I, I might as well just go for it, right? I might as well try and go for it early. They can't KO me in one hit, so I'll go for Mystical Fire and get a lot of damage. And they're, if they're not Iron Head, if they're Low Kick, oof, I get a billion percent off on them too. I don't know if Draining Kiss actually does 32, and I don't want to throw it away by going for Draining Kiss and it not KOing. So I'm going to go for the KO and King Gambit. We do not have to worry about that thing reverse sweeping me. Incredible. Incredible. Should I? Should I? No, I need Terra. They're gonna sludge bomb here, right? I drain and kiss. No, I need I need Terra. I need Terra for sure. Just U turn on this Mon. They can't KO me even if they uh, Terra themselves because I'm a Salt Vest. And then I can bring out my Demon on them and try and go for game. Because this Mon actually cooks them too. Like, legitimately. If it can get any special attack raises, it can win. Just any special attack raises, you can win, buddy. Ooh. That's it. Let's win the game right here, right now. Right? Screw it. Let's just do it. That was a big dodge, so I'll take it. Nothing on their team kills me in one hit. And they tear it. Nice. So we can get the sub up on them. Plus two sludge wave. KO's glide score. Skarm sturdy is broken. Are you unaware? No. No, no. I mean, you might have been. I got lucky with the Thunder Wave dodge. I'll take it though. Iron Moth looking kind of nasty today. Iron Moth is looking kind of nasty right now. Yo, it's looking nasty. I'm going to get into the game. This looks like that Custap lead prim... I don't know if y'all heard the dogs talk, playing with the toy, but it looks like that Custap lead Primarina stuff that CTC loves to use. Um, big fan of this. I don't care if they get up rocks. I'm going to try for my own rocks here. They're very important. They could have gotten them up for me. Okay, I get a U-turn off now. You're very fast, by the way. Just, you know, complimenting you casually. Uh, I'm assuming they're going to go Primarina now. They end up going Volk to try and burn me. What a freaking demon. What an actual demon. Then again, this team is pretty weak to Volcarona. Like, it actually forces in uh, you. This is definitely Earth Power. All right, I forced the Flare Blitz here immediately. If they tear a ground, I have a Rillaboom at the end of the day, so. I go for the Blitz. That did zero. Yo, what? I'll blitz again, though. 45? Gouging fire? I mean, they did nothing back, obviously, so I'm okay. But, damn. 45 is nothing. But luckily, we don't have to worry about Volcarona as much anymore. Um, I don't get my grassy terrain boost later for, for this mon, but... 
I'm gonna still keep trying to go for rocks just because I can get an earth power off on something coming in. And I still get Rocky Helmet Chip, which is good for Iron Moth for later. Oh, and they gave me Volcarona. Perfect. Please go. Thank you. Hmm. <laughs> Ice Beam. <laughs> Threat. Help. Dark Pulse is annoying too. I'll go hat. Damn, man. Dark Rise is a threat to this team. I'd rather bring out you and then... Because I can't win with Iron Moth. I can't win with Iron Moth yet. I can't win with Iron Moth yet. Okay, I have, a, I have a shot now at winning with Iron Moth, I think. Because they can't terrestrialize anymore, so. We'll get our Fiery Dance boosts. Come on, get a boost. Can I... Can you please get a boost so I can win this game? I, like, if both of these are boosts, it's, it's auto win. <laughs> Never mind. Fiery Dance, the biggest, fakest move in the world. Like, actually. I straight up actually. It could be AV Primarina on this build, though. So, weakening them again is still opening up my Gouging Fire. Um, I'm assuming it's AV. Yeah, well, I mean, if I got plus two, I KO'd, so. They went for a wild move there? Can I just say they went for a wild move there? I'm just gonna fire dance. I've it. Like you all right there? Actually crazy. Okay, so with the chip, uh, with the stealth rock up, I believe I'll be able to actually KO you and you. I just earth power forever. All right, now I just go for U turn because they're still taking Rocky Helmet Chip. What is my play here? I don't even know if Shadow Ball KO is this month, I'll be honest. Actually, it should. It definitely should. From 18 for sure. I want them to go Roaring Moon so I can knock it out with Terra Fairy. Perfect. All right, so we KO this here. Noise. And then it comes down to King Gambit versus me. Which can obviously SD and do its thing. Actually, I'm, I'm straight. Yeah, we're good. Nice. And then I just sack uh, Lando. Cool. There, Earth Power last. That doesn't even KO Gouging Fire. Perfect. We go, we go, we go, we go, we go. Let's get another game. Love their team. Um, Iron Moth looks good. If I can get rid of Ting Lu, they do have Ting Lu go into me. So that's very threatening. I'm actually so weak to Miascarada, yeah, that I have to lead off with this Mon and click Flare Blitz. I am okay with this because, yeah, I lose my Grassy Seed, but I get a bunch of damage off on Meow. All right, one Morning Sun here. These are great switch-ins to Miascarada. These are great switch-ins to Gouging Fire. Miascarada into Corviknight. I, I, I love it. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a guy. I'm a very ambitious guy, and I, I like I like this. I like this a lot. Ah, the Terra Dragon. That's cool with the body press stuff. I'll just go you on the U turn. Exactly, I get the chip. Golden Go looks incredible now. By the way, that they can't terrestrialize. Uh, Shadow Ball looks also incredible, and Draco. Shadow Ball crit spadef drop. We love to see it. Wow. Uh, so unfortunately, it's going to do a billion percent. If they had just, just gotten the Spadef Drop, I'd be okay. But the Crit Spadef Drop hurts the most. I guess Hat does kind of win, but no at the same time. Yeah, that Crit Spadef Drop is dumb. Hmm. I don't want to go Golden Go and Terra yet. But I may have to. I actually may have to. I don't think any other Terra is like super necessary. Yeah, even if they go Tinglu, they can't whirlwind me out. And I got the defense raise, so I'm actually just gonna go for nasty plots here.
That sucks, but it's not the end of the world, right? And then I get huge, huge hits off here. And if they miss a couple power balls with Ace, I'll be in a good spot. They're going for game with that, huh? But they didn't KO me, though. I kind of wish I went for plus four. They're going for game with Boulder. They already teared, though. Oh, cool. I'm just going to Shadow Ball here. Yeah, they don't kill. They get a nice little spadef drop, but that doesn't matter. All right, Dragapult going gone or being gone is amazing for Iron Moth. Ace does not freaking kill me, bro. I'm sorry, Ace is not killing me. And get another nasty ply here. So that let that nasty plot lets me kill Ace in one. So if they want to U-turn here into Meow, I, I am messing with burns and, and potential crits, but I'm at the point where I kind of have to. I feel two one more one more one more perfect all right so free shadow ball can't touch me now <laughs> watch them have gunk shot this entire time by the way oh core change so you become a normal type that'd be great all right I don't know what's coming in but it's taking a plus four shadow ball if they go hard, Miascarado, they super lose. It, it's probably gonna be Corviknight, right? I think their only way of winning the game is Boulder. They went harsh. Oh, okay, they they super lose. <laughs> Yo, that was never the play. But why would I go for Nasty Plot there? <laughs> when I was trying to stall you out of Pyro Balls. That was a wild, wild play. Let's get another game. I am absolutely terrified of this team. Absolutely terrified. Uh, Golden Go looks really good, but I got to be careful not to get swept by Serp, even with Iron Moth plus Gouging Fire. And Kyurem just cooks. Like, actually just cooks. Hmm. I got to start Golden Go because I'm so weak to Kyurem. Exactly. I'm <laughs> The reason I'm going Rillaboom here, even though they could easily go out into Cinderace, is because I want to be able to pivot out into Lanners quick, easily. And maybe Rillaboom is interesting, right? So I switch first, so they don't switch. Oh, yeah, that's super specs. Nice. Nice Rocky Helmet going. I will bring out Hat here. If they want to try and go for Rocks. Because then I can... Because if they go for Rocks, they'll Court Change later, which means I can get up Rocks anyway. I actually see the exact same. I just don't want them you turning out into Kiram. That's what I don't want, right? I need damage on Kiram, and I need. I also need damage on Landers. Actually, now that I think about it, who cares? I want them to you turn out to Kiram because I want them to take Rocky Helmet, so that way they get smoked by Iron Moth later. Iron Moth looks great, and I need rocks up for Kiram. Kiram specs, dude did 17. That means it is 34 on average. Like, not really, but <laughs> it's only 1.5 times boost. Anyway. I'd be completely fine with them getting up rocks just because we trade rocks and that means they're up. I, again, when you're fighting a Cinderace, it's interesting, right? Because obviously rocks are worse for me because Iron Moth plus Gouging Fire. But then again, I don't know their Dragonite set. Uh, and if my win con is this Pokemon and, and that is offensive Kyurem, I need this chip. I straight up need this chip. It could also be Scarf Kyurem. Honestly, I have no idea about the damage rolls versus AV. Rillaboom. I haven't used AV Rillaboom since the APA, a draft league back in the day where I had Rillaboom prior to Grassy Surge. I wish it had Grassy Surge. You see this? How much you take, buddy? I know you're not specs, bro. That is that's specs damage? Wow. All right, they did you turn out into goat. <laughs> Help. Help. Golden Go? Golden Gone? Golden Gone, basically. Come on, man. What's the point? <laughs> what the hell is the point? <laughs> Crit into Freeze is crazy. It's all right. They'll go Cinderace and Thaw me like a nice person. Thaw! Thaw! You... I can't switch out into Iron Moth. I need it at full. Whatever. Pokemon. Mm. Gouging Fire can still win. So I'll go for that. I'm going to try for double rocks. 
actually, I just need chip on Titar. Let's see if we can go for fire dances and actually get boosts. This would have been nice to have a, a, a golden go, but yeah, the team's really weak to ice, so it is what it is. Like, just getting damage on this would help out gouging fire for later, which looks really good. This is why I also want to hit Tyranitar upon switching. I'm assuming they go Tar. I might even Terra versus Tar. Yes! Like, legit. Yes, yes, yes. Give me that. And I get a... No second boost, but that's okay. I got the first. Am I going to lose the Ice Beam if I do this? Maybe. Whatever. I'm going to get my damage. My damn damage. Damn, bro. That didn't even kill me regularly. I'm scared to click anything else. I don't know if Sledge Wave kills. It definitely kills from 21. It definitely kills. For sure it kills. This is banded. Bro, this super kills. Evan, we run the calc though. So when you're assuming, like, and you don't know anything, just, just assume choice, uh, max HP, sludge weight plus one. All I gotta know, buddy. All right, Tyranitar, gone. Dragonite, gone. My win con, gone. And I, I still have rocks, which is great because I can get a, a hit off on Kyurem. That's what I need. I need a hit off on Kyurem. If they go Dragonite, we go Landorus. We should be okay. We get up rocks. They go Ace. We go Landorus. We should be okay. <laughs> we get up rocks. It's the same thing. I guess U-turn is technically better this turn. Just because we don't know enough about... Man, because it doesn't it doesn't force a sack. Yeah, yeah. If they go out to cure him, it's worse for me if they get up. Like if they stay in and go for like something like Wisp or whatever or Pyro Ball, it's worse for me. Uh, it's better that I got a rocks because I I don't care if they court change. I'll get a rocks on both sides and Iron Moth lives. I just need the chip on Kieran with Stealth Rock plus Sludge Wave so that way I can grassy them. Because Gouging Fire still looks really 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 good. I need them to die to Flare Blitz from Gouging Fire. That's actually what I need. Perfect. Got a little bit of chip on that. I'm assuming they go Kyurem. Perfect. Okay. We do this just to get strong Sludge Wave damage off. And hopefully we crit a poison. Like the Kyurem did to uh, Crit Froze. So I would like a crit poison. Nothing on their team likes taking Sludge Wave anyway. That's basi I basically got a Brox. Look, Kyurem at 75%. Uh, I got a Brox. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Go hard, Superior. <laughs> I'm about to lose this damn Teller, uh, Stellar to, uh, Superior, aren't I? Nice. Big damage. Yeah, Serp is a threat. We Draining Kiss here, though. We don't care about Ace coming out. This is in Flare Blitz range now, so we just need to find a situation where we can Dragon Dance up and win the game with Rillaboom. Oh, I mean, excuse me, uh, Gouging Fire. Plus Rillaboom, I guess. So we just need this chip. And by chip, I mean we just need this death. Know what? I don't want a Mystical Fire into Superior. I'm going to do this just in case they Terra. Because I think this KO is better for me. Could be just wrong. Could be just straight up wrong. Nah, that's fine. Ready? Eat this up. You turn out. Your HP doesn't matter. As long as I get in Gouging Fire. You know what? I don't want Serp glaring me. I'm going to make some wild switch-ins. Yeah, die. I don't want Serp glaring me. I'm just going to Dragon Dance up and pray I don't get frozen here. And then uh, Gouging Fire with the Grassy Terrain Boost. I mean, if it's Terra, I'm actually slower than Serp, which is very sad. Uh, but <laughs> now that I see it. Oh, I can get a second DD. I'm not slower than Serp anymore. Let's go. Nice. Man, I don't care. I'm not getting frozen or crit. Whew, I got very scared. I thought I lied. I thought I lied there, but you know, I did not. Let's go. Let's go.
I'm not getting frozen or crit. This should be most Dragonite variants, just because of breaking swipe. If they go deny, I know I'm in a better spot, right? If they go hard serp, it's different, but nice. Yeah, we breaking swipe, we lower their attack. How the hell was I supposed to expect that, bro? In this generation, so I guess rocks were the play. GG. I want to say, because they were outrage, I still should have had a golden go. I tried. I tried. I tried making it so that way my homie could do it at the end. But no, my dude was weakness policy. So I got smoked. Is what it is, right? Absolutely is what it is. I wish I had a golden go that entire game. But try to fight back. Did not work. Rain goes motherless. Damn. Uh, a lot of threats there. A lot of threats on the opponent's side. Loving you. Big fan of Rillaboom as a lead. I feel like it doesn't get KO'd by anything. Uh, this looks like a good Golden Go plus Iron Moth game. I feel like they between them two, they kind of wall everything. Nice. Go for a knock. Live this Drake. Perfect. That's Specs. Or Life Orb. Okay, that's fine. Put itself in range of knockoff. Let's go. All right. Giant threat that I couldn't switch into. Gone. Can I even beat Agility, Stored Power, Latios? I have no idea. I actually don't think I can. It's actually a giant threat without. Bro, what? <laughs> Why is it such a big threat? Terra Fairy, Golden Go goes stupid though, but like, I feel like I lose to Latios before I win with that. Depending on the set, of course. Because I can't activate it if it's weakness policy is the problem. I don't know. I'll see how it goes. We'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes from there. Depending on what they bring out. If they go Roaring Moon, I most likely U-turn. Yeah, I most likely U-turn. They should know um, Assault Vest, though, by the fact that I took only 72% from a Life Orb Latios' Draco. By the way, this is, video is going out Tuesday. Thank you so much, everybody. We sold that on Moon Milk. We sold out on my, my Shaker and everything. I appreciate y'all. Uh, I'm going to have Meteor Burst hopefully next month during the subathon. So make sure you're there. I'll be streaming every day. Well, I'll be streaming as long as the subathon lasts, right? Like the, the cap is the month of April. Just because I'm busy after April. But it's going to be a lot. I'm going to regret it immediately, by the way, because I do not like long, long, long streams. All right, we're going to U-turn here. Let him go for knock. That's fine. Hmm... I live and I can just Dazzling Gleam. If they Terra Fly, it's a little bit worse, but I mean, I don't, I, I need to force them out is what I'm thinking anyway. Because they won't kill me regardless. Nice little grassy seed. Who the hell goes golden gold? Yeah, perfect, 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 perfect. Perfect. Best case scenario right there. I can save gold as well as they go heat trend, like most definitely. <laughs> So I just need damage on Lottie because Iron Moth looks stupid good here. And I'm I'm very worried about Lottie. Don't get me. I'm super worried about Lottie. It's for sure combine agility, man. They all are. I don't even know what's my game plan into that because I have to hit them. Combine you is pretty good. All right. Get up Stealth Rock in front of this thing's face. Oh, they, what if they don't... If they don't fear Earth Power, I'm going to go for this. I'm going for Taunt. None of your store power combine BS right now. Oh, okay, yeah, it really was. But it's super slow. I mean, I guess technically, yeah, I just get up rocks and I don't care. This, I don't know what this thing set is, but... Awesome for me, right? Shoot. I don't know if this was the correct course of action, but uh, yeah, if they tear grass, I'd sludge wave, so I figured that was okay. I don't think these guys run recovery, so I'm just gonna go for sludge wave twice. Store power's scary. It has leftovers though. I can't tear ground it because of terra blah. Ah. I'm not getting special attack raises, which was sad. I 
I don't have Psy Shock as well, which is bad. Wait, what are you doing? Huh. I don't think I win this scenario unless I crit here. It wasn't weakness policy, by the way. Could have U-turn. I have been smoked. Hatterene lives, but it can't kill back, so there's no point. Yeah, I got smoked by this. I actually don't even know if Hatterene lives. Yeah, it doesn't. Good game. Yeah, I was getting... Uh, if I got special attack raises, maybe it would make a difference in this game. Because it would have one less boost. But I don't I don't even know if that... I, I, I actually was fearing that the entire time. So maybe what I should have done was... KO... Nah, because every, uh, every route that KO'd Heatran... Basically, only Iron Moth opened up that Mon Lottie for me. Yo, what is this? This team is wild. All right, this will be the last one. We might have to make a new account. I, actually, I'll, I'll, I'll get Rex on this one. It's no big deal. Uh, Rev, bunch of unaware Mons. Iron Moth looks great. I mean, yeah, but they got Claude, which is very annoying. Lando into you. Should I just tear this and just say F it? Nah, it really shouldn't. This mod's a threat, though. I'll go gold on the uh, triple axle. Exactly. Tank that hit. That looks banded as hell. That looks super banded. Maybe that's just because it's crit, but that looks super banded. I'm assuming they're going to go Claude here. So I'm going to double back out into Landorus and get up some rocks because they don't have hazard control. Uh, that could be boots everything, though, but... They don't even like switching into this Pokemon. Get up rocks for me. Okay. Scouted. They do have Rever Room though, which actually makes out oh, yeah, that one's so crazy. Why is that Mon so good? And why is that your initial switching? If this thing is scarf, so help me. <laughs> okay. We'll go for knock here. It's just a standard one. So it's not AV, which is nice. Uh, so if we can knock Claude, I think we're having a good spot with Iron Moth. <clears throat> yeah, we're in a very good spot with Iron Moth, especially because they went this first. Damn. Yo, wait, what? Hold up. I might be faster than you. And this kills. Nice. All right. I don't have to worry about losing the Sinistra either. Let's go. Demon's coming out, though. The demon's coming out. They could knock this turn anyway. I am still going out into Golden Go because it actually does nothing in this game besides resist this. Oof. We can save you. We can save you and get a Brox. No items. That, that has to be choice. But that literally has to. I'm going rocks for myself. I want, I need, I need chip on meow. I need chip on meow. Nice. Just gonna taunt them. That way they can't touch me and then I'll U-turn out. No toxic for you. I wish they teared and then I could land toxic back on them with hat. Show me your switchings. I, if I had earthquake, it would be insane right now. Please bring out meow Skirata on U-turn. <laughs> earthquake would go so stupid right now. Oh my god, they brought out Masquerade on U-turn. <laughs> yeah, I, I willed that. I willed that. How do I not lose the rubber room is the question. Gouging fire. I gotta scare it. <laughs> Yo, I got a big ente. Don't go out to rubber room. Jack, you hear me? He heard me. Why does demon not have love? <laughs> not have to take boots. What the hell is this? Go Iron Moth. Fire play. Don't think I need Terra for anything. Scorching Sand immediately was wild. But the fact that I lived that though, crazy. I just need a huge hit off on Skeleturge. That's the huge hit I was kind of looking for. So I'm very glad it did 82%. That had to be offensive dirge, right? 95% is, I know I'm four times weak to it too, but I have a Spadef EVs and everything. 
And before I lose to Reverum. All right, we're looking good though with uh, Gouging Fire and Rillaboom will beat you. What, you're gonna tear a poison on me? No, okay, then you take 10 billion percent. Does Earth Power do 20% to a Primarina? That's not Assault Vest, but th that is an Assault Vest, but this is good to know that this does that much to Assault Vest, which means Earth Power does kill. And then what I can do is, I want it to be in versus Rev Room, hope it's not Jolly and go for Taunt versus it, that way it can't sweep me. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see if that's uh, what ends up happening. Because I'm assuming they Terrastalize. Oh, they go Clawed. To not do anything to actually lose 1v1 to taunt plus earth power the recover plus hazard right their last unless they're like that poison sting set yeah i'm not sure anyway between hopefully we're good versus rever room uh, it's obviously it, it's like very obviously terra i know grassy seed uh gouging fire will be able to... okay i was about to say you know what you should be max speed on this guy is the thing you definitely should be max speed on this guy, but they're not. Thank you. Cool. Could pop their balloon right now. I'm going to. Let me get hit with this temper flare. Hit me with this temper flare. Let's go. The double damage. Or you can go with high, high horsepower. That's fine too. I just need damage on them. Noise. All right, so we always go you, always go for taunt. Taunt hits both of these Pokemon. If they ever go Claude, I just click Earth Power forever. Again, we're just trying to play for the Terra, exactly. Get my damage off. I need them to, to go for Iron Heads, man. I need them to go for Iron Heads so that way they actually do damage. The good thing is if they switch now, they take 25% from South Rock, and they should die to Gouging. You're useless to me. But. Ah, whatever. They can't set up and beat me. Oh, that poison is actually not. I mean, Draining. Yeah, I was about to say, Draining is going to do a billion percent. It's going to put them in a range of Grassy Glide. So if they try and set up on me, they'll lose the game anyway. They do have Iron Head. Always taunt. Trying to make sure we win this end game for sure. No, man, F it. I've had enough of this. <laughs> I've had enough of this. I feel like I'm trapped in this game. I'm trying to go eat some food. Plus, it's actually better not to get poisoned and lose somehow to Claude's eye. Like, look how little that... Get the hell out of my sight. Who next? You? Yeah. All right, I'm in on that. So, I'm going to need uh, most likely extra games to get Rex, but that's fine. I have no problem playing. Uh, this was a cool team, though. Iron Moth definitely was very, very good in this live. So if you guys did enjoy it, make sure you leave a like. Subscribe. Teams on the website, Pokemon.com. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.